it is time for the end of March Bagness. I have the two bags that are in the last round. I have the Ryla Pack in gray and also the Dagny Dover Dakota in the color Liberty. Okay, the first thing is color. I think both of these bags have a really, really pretty color for summer and spring. Obviously, I think the Ryla Pack's gonna match more of your outfits and kind of go with more, but the Dagny Dover is really fun because it does have like that pop of color and so it'll really like stand out and it's really fun looking. So I, I would definitely use either one of these. Um, I think the colors are both beautiful and this is gonna be really hard for me to choose between these bags for anything. For color, I'm gonna say um, the Dagny Dover just because I think it's a little bit more fun. All right, for price, the Ryla Pack wins on price. Um, the normal price for the Dakota backpack from Dagny Dover is about $175, I believe, but they do have sale colors available, so if you click on their sale section, um, you can find you can find really good prices there on one of these backpacks. Um, I also do have a 10% off code for both of these bags, so I'll leave those down below. Um, the Ryla pack is around like $130, $140, but either way, the Ryla pack is still, um, still a little bit less expensive, so the Ryla Pack wins for price. Okay, for function and pockets, these both have some really awesome pockets and functionality to them. The Ryla Pack does have better bottle pockets on the outside here. I can fit full-size bottles here, um, like my full-size water bottle there, whereas on the Dagny Dover, it it's a little bit too small. This is the medium size, by the way, of the Dagny Dover backpack. They will fit on the large size. On the medium size, my water bottles, my big water bottles don't fit here, so I have to keep them on the inside, which is not a huge deal. But when you're talking about function, I think the Ryla Pack wins for um, the bottle pockets. And then they actually both have really great internal structure. So there's a lot of different pockets to use here on the inside of the Ryla Pack. And I was really surprised that this Dagny Dover bag is not just kind of an open backpack like normal backpacks are. It has a lot of cool um, pockets for you to use. There's a back section here, two pockets on the side, and then obviously this whole front section here. It has zippered compartments as well. So I think they both really have really good internal organization. And then they both do have back zippered areas. So on the Ryla pack, you have this long zippered pocket and it kind of goes all the way across the back here. And then the Dagny Dover has two separate pockets, one on this side and one on this side, and they kind of meet in the middle here. Um, I think I prefer the Ryla pack back pocket compared to the Dagny Dover one. So I think for function and pockets, I'm gonna give that one to the Ryla Pack. Cleanability, these are pretty much the same when it comes to cleaning. You can put both of these into the washing machine if you need to and just air dry. Um, they're both very easily wipeable. I will say that the Ryla Pack, since it's made out of like a really nice kind of faux leather material, it won't soak in water. It will be just easily wipeable and wipe that off. Whereas on the Dagny Dover, the the water will, the water doesn't just like bead off of this material, but it's made of a really nice neoprene. And so even when water kind of soaks in, it dries really quickly. And I haven't had any issues with spots or anything. Um, I've had this in the rain a few times and haven't had an issue. But since the Ryla Pack does have more of like waterproof material, I'm gonna say the Ryla Pack probably wins that round as well. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is the comfort of both of these bags. And they're both super, super comfortable. They both have really great comfortable straps but as you guys have heard me say in my last few videos the Dagny Dover backpack is just incredibly comfortable there's just some like really amazing squishy gel stuff in these backpack straps and I just find it to fit really well it feels really nice on your back so I'm gonna say comfort goes to Dagny Dover both of these bags are here for a reason in the final round because they're both amazing amazing bags these are two of my very favorite bags that I own right now and it's really hard for me to kind of choose between them I think they're both excellent choices I do feel like the Dagny Dover will hold a little bit more even in this medium size and something else I wanted to mention is obviously if you are wanting to look a little more classy a little more fancy the Ryla pack does that for you it just looks a little bit nicer with the really pretty like gold hardware the Dagny Dover it still looks pretty to me and has like that really pretty classy logo there um, it's a little bit more casual and I feel like in the summertime and in the springtime you're a little bit more casual day-to-day -day, well at least I am so maybe this would be a better 
another option for you for summer, but they're both amazing, amazing bags. So even though I really love both of these bags, I think they're both excellent. Um, with the five categories that I just went through, the Ryla Pack actually came out on top. Ryla Pack has won the March Bagness for my favorite like spring and summer bag. The Dagny Dover was a really, really close second, a really, really close second, so don't forget to check them out as well. But there you go, the Ryla Pack is the grand winner. And now I did promise you guys a giveaway for this final round, and I am going to be giving away a Jujube Mini Bee. This is in the blackout where it is the kind of matte hardware there. It says Jujube, and on the inside you have the really fun stripe there. It's just a really cute, easy bag. You can use it or your kids can use it. So this would be great for anybody. I filled this bag with some of my like favorite goodies that you'll see here. To enter this giveaway is really, really easy, and I will, of course, leave all the information down below as well. But all you need to do is subscribe to my channel here. Also click on the link to go to my Instagram and follow me on Instagram. Come back here and leave me a comment letting me know which bag is your favorite kind of spring and summer bag. Also let me know that you did subscribe to both the YouTube channel and my Instagram. So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm going to have this giveaway run for one week. So make sure you follow both accounts by next week and you could possibly be the winner of a new Jujubee Mini Bee. I hope that was fun and enjoyable for you. It definitely was for me. I don't think I could have narrowed it down without like kind of walking through each bag and going through all the categories. So that was kind of fun for me as well. As always, if you have questions about anything, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for being here and we will talk to you guys next time.